going for a ride today. It's, uh, it's a sunny Sunday morning, and uh, yesterday um, on Facebook, I implied I was going to go to the Victory Park and uh, places out west, but I uh, changed my mind, and I'm going to go into the city centre, uh, particularly. Um, the older parts, the heart of the uh, the old town. So let's go. Well, I'm about five minutes out from the flat here, straight along the road. Just gonna go in here. This is the park of the Pioneer Palace. There's someone camping down there. Maybe you can't see. Fair enough. It's the Palace of the Pioneers. The Pioneers were the Soviet equivalent of the Scouts. This is one of the buildings and I like this because it has the concrete relief over the entranceway. One of the things they were really good at in Soviet times was making mosaics and there's one here I guess this is the main building of the palace. So I see I see the figure of a woman up there holding what looks like a miniature version of this mosaic. Very meta. And there is the head, the unmistakable head of Lenin. Of course, in the pioneers, they ven venerated Lenin, whereas we and the scouts venerated the queen. And there. is a campfire with all the pioneer boys and girls around it now the boy there with the, the bugle or horn is I looked it up, and he's um, kind of like a Soviet superhero, fictional character, who um, fought in the Russian Civil War against the evil capitalists, and uh, was killed by torturers, but didn't give away his comrades. So a heroic character, and they even made action figures of him. I can't remember his name. He's got a funny nickname type name. I especially like this minimalist entrance gate. Oh, 
Okay. Did you see that squirtle? I could easily have squished it. That would not have been a good start to the ride. The problem today is that I'm on my second day of nicotine withdrawal. So, if I shout and scream at innocent pedestrians, children, animals, then you'll know why. This is my current favorite metro station. I'll tell you why in a moment. this bridge but there's a better way for me to get onto it There's the bridge that spans the Moscow River and at the top there's the road and further down enclosed is the metro. And it's not just the metro line but the actual station is on the bridge. Very cool. Very cool piece of engineering. So because it has to span the whole river, it is the longest metro station in Moscow. And I'm gonna go across on the outside. This metro station is called, let me see if I can get this right, Vorobyovy Gori. Vorobyovy Gori. And that means Sparrow Hills. stop. Now, as you can imagine the views from that metro station are pretty amazing.
my ears are cold, I'm craving nicotine, and I've just realized that I forgot something, and I'll have to go back to the flat to get it. Check out the Soviet department store there. Lovely design. I'll be going back there one day. Across the other side of the road is the State Darwin Museum telling the story of evolution. And here are some dinosaurs. I particularly like this one, simply because of his expression. That's one happy dinosaur. Sunday morning. Sunday morning and there's not much traffic around. So I feel entirely justified in going through red lights. I've just spotted this building that I haven't seen before, it's quite interesting. The entrance uh, portico, I suppose you'd call it, is really cool. And up at the top, an abstract mosaic. Very nice. Well, this is my second outing of the morning. I had to cut the first one short because I forgot something I had to do at home. In any case, I was cold and grumpy. I will endeavour to improve my attitude this time. Rocky Park once again. I'm 
coming this way because there's a really nice way of crossing the river here on a footbridge Here we are, north of the river. Very often in my rides, and certainly last week in the video, I stayed mostly on the south side. That's where I live. So I tend to just stay on the south side of the river. But the centre, the real centre, is uh, north of the river. Well, last week I did cross over to uh, have a look at the Kremlin, but that was about it. Well, today I'm going to be north of the river to see the old part of town. and a few other things. I can see one of the buildings I came to see across the road. Just going to find a place to cross. building over there is the Palace of Youth. It looks like classic 60s or 70s modernism, but it was actually built in the 80s. And it has an impressive mosaic that goes around at least two sides of the building. Apparently, I read that they're going to get rid of all that horrible advertising and signage and restore the building to its former glory. That was supposed to start last year. Maybe it's been delayed because of the pandemic. Anyway, it's not in such a bad condition, far from all the garish signage. I 
entertaining are these underpass sections? I guess once you've seen one, you've seen them all. as a palace of youth. Around the corner, I think there's a more uninterrupted view of the mosaic. The metro system, I mean a, a metro station inside the building as well. Up there on the mosaic, I can see a band playing music. And to the left, Industrial workers, I think. A hammer and sickle. And just below, the golden arches of McDonald's. A group of cosmonauts there. Next to the rocket and uh, a capsule with a parachute on it. It looks like uh, Yuri Gagarin's capsule. And then to the right, space-themed, semi-abstract, Kandinsky-like work there. Nice.